Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on anemia in pregnancy, notes for medical officers in obstetrics. The definition of anemia in pregnancy is different based on the gestation trimesters. In first trimester, anemia is Hb less than 11. In second and third trimester, Hb less than 10.5, and for postpartum, Hb less than 10. The severity of anemia can be mild, moderate, or severe. Screening for anemia is done during booking, during 20 to 24 weeks of gestation, and at 36 weeks of gestation. Anemia in pregnancy is not a complete diagnosis. A cause must be identified to ensure effective treatment. 95% of anemia in pregnancy is due to iron deficiency anemia. However, other causes must be explored if patient not responding to hematinic. There are three main types of anemia. Microcytic hypochromic anemia can be due to iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, bleeding from GIT, or hookworm infestation. Normocytic anemia can be due to acute blood loss, anemia of chronic disease, hemolytic anemia, or dilutional anemia. Macrocytic anemia can be due to vitamin B12 deficiency, caused by pernicious anemia, gastric bypass surgery or diet. Other causes of macrocytic anemia are folate deficiency, hypothyroidism, and alcoholism. The features suggestive of IDA. Previous or early booking HB with normal MCH and MCV. Microcytic hypochromic anemia. Menser index more than 13. And transferrin saturation less than 16% indicates inadequate iron supply for erythropoiesis. The confirmatory test for IDA is serum ferritin, less than 15. Treatment should be considered if level less than 30, as this level indicates early iron depletion. For general rules of iron supplement requirements, prophylaxis dose is 60 mg elemental iron per day, whereas for treatment, it is 100 to 200 mg elemental iron per day. For prevention of anemia, give dietary advice, increase iron intake, vitamin C, and avoid iron absorption inhibitors like tea, coffee, cereals. WHO recommends prophylactic iron supplement with 30 to 60 mg elemental iron daily throughout pregnancy. Explore more on compliance and tolerance to iron supplement. The correct way on taking iron supplement is on empty stomach, one hour before meals, with a source of vitamin C avoid taking together with antacids. For treatment, once anemia in pregnancy is detected, treat empirically by increasing the dose of iron supplement to treatment dose. A rise in Hb of 1 gram per deciliter per week should be demonstrable by two weeks and confirms iron deficiency. Once Hb normalized, continue treatment for further three months, and at least until six weeks postpartum to replenish iron studies. If no response to oral iron supplement, to proceed with further workup according to types of anemia. Microcytic hypochromic, do PBF, serum iron and ferritin, HB electrophoresis with DNA analysis, stool for occult blood, stool for ova and cyst. For macrocytic, do PBF, serum folate, serum B12, TFT. Some cases require referral to family medicine specialist or ONG specialist, such as symptomatic anemia, severe anemia HB less than 7, or failure to respond to iron supplement. Let's look at parenteral iron. Parenteral iron is only for confirmed IDA and the indications for parenteral iron are failure to respond to oral iron, noncompliance or intolerant to oral iron, and malabsorption of iron. Whereas the contraindications are history of allergy or anaphylaxis to parenteral iron, first trimester, acute or chronic infection, or chronic liver disease. Greater scrutiny before blood transfusion is needed. Due to potential dangers of blood transfusion, such as transfusion-induced sensitization to red cell antigens, allergic reaction or anaphylaxis, and transfusion-related infection. Blood transfusion is only reserved for severe anemia with Hb less than 6. Hb less than 8 in gestation more than 36 weeks. Risk of bleeding like severe anemia in labor, PP before C-sec, placental abruptio. Significant symptomatic anemia, cardiac compromise. Moderate and severe anemia in patient with known heart disease or respiratory disease. Patients who develop severe side effects to both oral and parenteral iron therapy. That's all for this video. Thank you.